Hey guys, it's Tyler, and this is my review of the Yuxin Blue 4x4. This new cube out of Yuxin comes with the standard Moyu shades and is a 60mm cube which is pretty standard for 4x4s nowadays. You can get it in black, white, or stickerless and for the price of 16 US dollars at the speedcubeshop.com. The feel of this cube starts off a bit sandy and clicky much like the YJ Yusu, but after a good break in it becomes a lot smoother. And if you don't like the clickiness and you want it to go away, it can easily be taken care of with a little bit of lube. Although I do like the feel of this cube, the edges of the cube and the stickers are a little bit sharp. And and after a session with this cube, my fingers feel a little bit sore and they kind of hurt when I touch things. To fix this, I'd recommend sanding the pieces and replacing the stickers with your own shades, you know, if you want to be drastic and actually fix it, or you can just deal with it. During the 3x3 stage of the solve, the cube performs really well, but it can be a little bit fast, but again, this can also be fixed with a little bit of loop. It performs well because of its ability to corner cut. This corner cutting is actually as good as the Moyu Aosu, meaning you can cut from line to line and reverse about a quarter of a piece, or even a little bit more. Now the inner layers of this cube is where it runs into some of its problems. So the corner cutting is line to line, but the reverse is non-existent. This isn't the biggest problem though, which brings me into the next thing. It does have a few problems with lockups. What I found is that when you turn the inner layers, the cube is prone to internal lockups. And this can be a huge pain to fix, you know, depending on how bad the lockup is, and if you even have to take the cube apart. You can usually fix this by turning the cube until the piece reaches where it was supposed to be in the cube and it will pop back into place, but still can be annoying and can affect your solve times a lot. Overall, even with some problems, it still performs great when solving and gets me times that resemble ones of my main. With the price tag of 16 US dollars, it is right in the middle between expensive and budget 4x4s. Because of this and its performance, I recommend this cube for people that are looking to get into 4x4 competitively. If you guys are interested in purchasing this cube, there's a link in the description to the speedcubeshop.com where you can find this cube and all the other modern speed cubes your heart might desire. Now, if this video helped, guys, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.